All right, my fellow PC guys, I'm about to be real with you and you might not like me after this, but you guys bring this on yourselves. So right now, man, you got the opportunity to go out and get some very, very good AMD GPUs. The 7900, I've tested the 7800 XT, the 7900 XT, and I currently am running the 7900 XTX. Now here's the thing. We all just saw the leaks for the new NVIDIA GPUs. The 5090, the 40, the 5080, and the 5070. The 5070 coming in at $700. The 5080 coming in at $1,400. And the 5090 coming in at $2,000 to $2,500. Now, <laughs> that's insane that's insane and you know what the funny thing is is you guys are gonna pay that price because you're clowns you're you're seriously clowns you're gonna sit here and be like but 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 the fsr but the but the ray tracing all of this stupid nonsense in the frame oh my gosh the dlss do you guys ever do you, do you do you even understand how stupid and ridiculous that sounds like nvidia dude is dog walking you guys just just taking money from you just taking it hand over fist and and like and like and like cutting you short the 5090 is supposed to be twice as strong as the 5080 and you guys are like yeah i'll pay 1500 dollars for that it's got 16 gigs of vram that's the 40 the, the 5070 12 gigs of vram really are you guys serious why I, I i don't understand it like i i do not understand the pc master race logic just wait until the new cards to come. Just wait, just wait. No, man, go out there and get you. I guarantee, this is my honest opinion. This is the 8800 XT is probably gonna come in right in line in between either the 7900 GRE and the 7900 XT in power, uh, but it's but it's obviously gonna have better ray tracing. Clearly, it'll have the FSR4, but I still think the, FS, the, the RDNA3 cards are still gonna be able to utilize FSR4 it, 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 you guys just don't make any sense to me. My 7900 XTX is still going to be an amazing card. Even after those games, even, even after these cards come out, the, uh, the, 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 the absolute denial of NVIDIA fanboys drives me wild. They come to my channel, they tell me my AMD sucks, and I'm like, how? Like, what do you mean, man? My, my 7900 XTX is better than the 4080 Super. In, I mean, because I don't care about the ray tracing that much. I mean, yeah, it's nice, obviously, but I'm getting better ray tracing performance on my 7900 XTX than the 3090 Ti. Like, it is still a decent enough card with ray tracing. And then you guys are like, yeah, man, but it won't do path tracing. Name one freaking card that does path tracing 4K over 60 frames a second without having to use DLSS or frame generation to get there. Yeah, there's not one. Maybe the 5090 will be able to do it, but I don't know, man. I mean, we're we're at a place right now where we're literally splitting hairs and you guys are throwing your money away. I guarantee, I guarantee most people, most gamers out there that are that are buying these Nvidia cards because they literally feel like they don't have another option. They don't feel like they have another option, so they buy into an Nvidia GPU at whatever price point they can afford and usually walk away in in like obviously they feel good about it i mean they obviously feel good about it i know they don't like the price i hear them all the time they don't like the price they don't like the cards being stripped back but they literally feel deep in their bones that the amd is not even an option for them just because everybody says it's bad last generation the freaking 6950 xt was trading blows with the 3090 I mean, the 4090 definitely is better than a 7900 XTX, but look how much more it costs versus how much more powerful it is. Like, the 7900 XTX beats the 4090 at games like Call of Duty and stuff. So I don't understand how you guys can sit there and be like, oh man, the ray tracing, the DLSS. Obviously, DLSS looks pretty good. If FSR4 works on, 70, on 7000 series cards, and it looks as good as PSSR. Seriously, guys, really, it's it's an upscaler. It's an upscaler. The only reason to use an upscaler is if you're trying to play at a resolution that your car just can't do. You you guys, I don't I don't understand this, man. And it and it's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me that people would throw themselves at Nvidia 
like it's some sort of savior and pay these prices. Like, that's just crazy to me, guys. That's why I went with AMD. I was like, dude, I like AMD. I, I get a, a good gaming experience for less money. I can invest in a better camera. I can buy new wheel rims for my channel. I can buy other stuff. I don't have to spend everything on a freaking GPU. That, that, uh, man, that's so crazy. I mean, literally the, 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 I mean, I, you know, honestly, guys, a 4080 super is definitely worth the money. You know what I mean? At a thousand bucks. I think that's, I think that's a pretty fair price for that GPU. I, I do thousand dollars or, or what, like you can get, you can get a 7,900 XTX right now for like 799. That's, that's an amazing price. That is a very fair price. I mean, if you're willing to let those things slip through your fingers to pick up a mid range 8,800 XT with less VRAM, a, a, a lower bus rate, that's fine. You do whatever you want to do with your money, my friends. You do whatever you want to do with your money. I personally bought the 7900 XTX because I kind of knew, or I kind of figured, if, if AMD is really not launching a high-end GPU, then my best bet going forward is going to be the 24 gigs of VRAM on the 7900 XTX. That's, that's my honest opinion. Um, I do have faith that AMD's FSR4 is going to work on the 7000 series cards. I do. I have faith. I have faith that it's going to work and it's going to be just fine. If PlayStation 5 Pro can run PSSR, then your 7000 series GPUs are going to be able to run FSR4. It's going to happen. It's going to work. Like it, it, it would be literally insane for AMD to not make that feature available on 7000 series GPUs. It, it would just be insane. You can run large language models on your on your on your 7000 series cards. Like you can do that. It has the necessary accelerators to run AI algorithms and stuff. Like it you can do that. Like you can do that. I I don't know why people keep saying that you can't. I mean, obviously if you can run the large language models and stuff like that, if you can literally uh, uh yeah do inference and all that other stuff on your 7000 series GPUs, there's no reason why it wouldn't be able to run an algorithm with AI on your freaking GPU. You know what I mean? Like it's, it, it's possible. It's possible. So I, I, I don't get it guys. I don't understand the, the insane like cope the Nvidia fanboys put themselves through to pay those prices and to literally look down at AMD like it's some sort of like garbage or something. Man, you guys, honestly, <laughs> if you gave it a try, seriously bought the absolute best AMD GPU you could buy right now, like I think you'd be walking away pretty happy, dude. You'd be like, whoa, dude, I can't believe Nvidia was like taking advantage of me as long as I let them. You would be like, you would probably be feeling a little bit like, wow, dude, that, that sucks. Stop letting NVIDIA hoodwink you, bro. Like, yeah, they obviously make great products if you can afford them. You know, if you have the money, the disposable income to throw it the highest end NVIDIA GPUs, yeah, that's the best way to not feel like you're getting screwed over, honestly. And yeah, do, do, I, think that, do I think that an NVIDIA 4090 is worth the price? Absolutely, I do. I, I, I personally do. I think that, I think that the price of GPUs for the, for the visual quality and everything that we get nowadays yeah, dude, it's definitely worth it. But you guys don't understand that like AMD's GPUs, they have AMD or, or AFMF too. And, and it's good. Like it's really not that bad. A lot of the games I play, it works just fine. I get double the freaking frame rate and it, and it feels that way on a controller, on a wheel setup. It feels okay. Like it feels good. Like I don't necessarily like i don't even notice a lot of input latency or lag or anything like that i still feel good my game still feels snappy i feel i feel it feels fine like i enjoy the experience so when you look at that all dx11 all dx12 now it runs with vulcan now it runs with OpenGL. it runs with all of that you can utilize amd chill there's just so many things that you can use with afmf2 and hyper rx when you have it all enabled and it really does benefit you as a gamer to use these technologies to to expand and extend the life of your gpu you can get way more bang for your buck right now with a 7900 xtx a 7900 xt a 7900 gre and a 7800 xt at these prices 
It would be insane to let these things slip through your fingers to wait on a pipe dream for GPUs next generation just to feel like, man, I should have just done it. If you're rocking an older GPU, guys, there's no sense in waiting. Seriously, get the best that you can get from the AMD stack right now and, and enjoy it. Like I literally have not ran into any games on my 7900 XTX that I couldn't fully enjoy. Literally, I, I, I mean, and, and I'm using ray tracing and everything. I can utilize FSR and it doesn't look horrible. I, 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 don't, I don't get it guys, I don't get it. Ah, uh, like, like when you turn on FSR on quality, like your game looks 4K. I mean, yeah, you might get a little bit of flickering or something like, but trust me, dude, for the money you're paying for it, like these games look so freaking good these days. They look so good. How, how is something like a little bit of flicker or a little bit of like, oh gosh, man, the shit these guys find to cry about is insane. You're literally telling me that you'd much rather spend all that extra money on an NVIDIA GPU to get like, like oh no, no, I don't get it. I don't get you guys, man. Like it doesn't make any dang sense to me sometimes. So, all right guys, if you like this content, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.